He's been gaming for over 30 years, representing the common man in gaming, bringing you the new, the old, and everything in between. Here is your host, LMG. Greetings, my fellow Lawn Darkens. Uh, the day is almost here on Tuesday. Uh, early Central Daylight Time, there will be the update uh, to the Long Dark. You know, they put a little uh, teaser pic uh, this weekend of what looks like what's going to be the Coastal Highway to Pleasant Valley uh, transitional stage. Because you know that is a mine. I'm pretty sure that's what they've got that added in now. Uh, but it's not going to be anything too huge. Uh, just a lot of game mechanics uh, setting up. They pretty much made it easier for them to get the next update out. Getting all the game mechanics settled so we can get into the next map. It'll make up getting uh, all their future maps a little easier. So we're just setting up uh, for the next maps and the future end game, as it were. All right, but the main reason I am here today is to talk to you about the new TLD achievements uh, they have in the Long Dark now. There's actually a uh, 22 now. So originally was, was there a uh, 13? So right now you're probably if you got them all, you're probably gonna have 59% uh, of the achievements unlocked, like I do. Actually, a lot of these are actually fairly easy, but we'll get into this in just a second. I want to show off. I'm not sure if these are active yet or not. Let's have to see if I've got... Oh, I do have that. I already have it on me, apparently. So, okay. We're going to go to the first one, Wrapped in Furs. Now, this one is if you slept in a bearskin bedroll while wearing a wolfskin coat, deerskin boots, and rabbitskin mitts. Which, as you know, I, I can do that in my sleep. So, yeah, we've got all that. So, let's actually lay that down. And a bear should be fixed. Uh, the bear response should be fixed on uh, the Tuesday update. I'm not sure about exact how long they would take to respawn. I imagine it's probably a fairly lengthy respawn, but... Yeah, that should be fixed. So no, uh... Going with, there's only four bears for the map, then. So we can get these, uh... Bear skin bedroll fixed up. So let's sleep for an hour. I don't think these are active yet. Might not be retroactive. We'll see. I'm gonna go sleep. Just for like an hour. We'll see if that achievement pops up. I'm gonna guess they're probably not active yet. But we'll go through them all anyway, just in case. Nope, I didn't see it pop up, so I'm gonna guess they're gonna be active on Tuesday. Uh, they're just laying the groundwork for the update. Well, that's okay, though. No problem. I'm gonna pick these all up on Tuesday, the majority of them I should. I'm gonna try to do some work to get these, uh, retroactive. Uh, they should be retroactive, uh, with your game. So let's just pick that up, and I'm gonna put that away real quick, if you guys don't mind. Because it's four kilograms. It's okay. It's a little bit of a weight there. Okay, and the second one we're talking about, it was this big. No, I'm not talking about that, ladies. I'm talking about catching a fish weighing over five kilograms or 11 pounds. Uh, the metric equivalent or imperial equivalent. I always get those confused. All right, the second one is uh, living off the land, which everyone should have this one fairly easy. Uh, if they play like me. Yeah. So by 25 consecutive days, only uh, consuming calories harvested from wild plants and animals. Uh, so just your deer meat, wolf meat, bear meat, uh, cattail stocks, uh, rosehip tea maybe, wrenchy mushroom tea, uh, stuff like that. No canned food of any kind, you know. And natural healer achievement, which is healing yourself using all types of natural medicine in a single game. Uh, so your, uh, old man beard's liking. You can make that, you have to make a bandage from that and use that. Which kind of means you probably have to get attacked. Well, you might be able to use it without even getting attacked. I think you do actually have to be in some sort of pain, but, eh. But then you have to make some rosehip tea and then some, uh, rishi tea. And that's the way to get that easy. That's pretty, uh, pretty easy achievement, I gotta say. Another one that's gonna take you a bit of leg work. Uh, but I think you probably just get this from, uh, the Pleasant Valley map. There seems to be enough for resources there. But it needs to harvest 25 of each, uh, kind of plant. I'm not sure that, that probably includes cattail stock. We'll just say it, it does. Uh, we'll have to check. I'll update that later on if it doesn't. But that should be fairly easy. The cattail stock, you might actually have to visit all three maps, though. That does include that, uh, to get your 25 there. And they kind of got these dinky achievements. It's kind of funny. I don't know why we're doing this one, but... Uh, the first of many. 
You survived for one day in a single sandbox game. Well, pff, we've done that about a couple thousand times. Uh, then they got two for two. I mean, they really want to get more people in the game, get them excited about playing, I guess. I'm all for that. Uh, you survived for two days in a single sandbox game. Yeah, easy. Uh, Centurion. This is where we get a little bit more interest. Centurion. You survived for 100 days in a single sandbox game. Been there, done that quite a few times. And one with nature. You have survived for 200 days in a single sandbox mode game. Uh, it doesn't seem there's any level restriction for that. I like to eventually see some achievements. Uh, so I 200 days in stalker mode. So, because I'm, uh, 123 days in stalker mode. I've gone 433 days in stalker mode, so. These achievements, uh, good for some people. Uh, a little bit too easy for me, I guess. I'm just being a cocky one today. I do apologize. But yeah, that will be bringing you, uh, yeah, because the one with nature is uh, surviving for 200 days in a single sandbox game. Uh, I'm not sure if that is retro. They'll probably be re retroactive, so I'm, I'm pretty sure they are not uh, active yet. I will keep an eye on this week, and I'll, I'll uh, comment in the video if it does change. But they're probably not going live until Tuesday with the update. They're just getting that around. Get a little bit of a tease, get you situated. Alright guys, that's all I've got for right now. But I'll be getting out a uh, first impression vid and the patch notes video uh, Tuesday. And then we'll be on, uh, join me on Twitch uh, at Lordmaster Gaming. We'll be playing uh, Long Dark, 1 to 7 Central Daylight Time all day. We'll be going through all the changes. I'll be running down everything for you. Alright, you guys have a good weekend and I will see you guys on Tuesday. I should go. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at 100 meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Spit it out. Or are you trying to build suspense? What can I do for you?